As the crisis at the border continues, we are now breaking records for apprehensions for illegal crossings. This past December, nearly a quarter of a million migrants crossed the southern border, according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. And now, bipartisan negotiations are ongoing in the Senate over a possible border deal. But any agreement faces an uphill battle with Speaker Mike Johnson calling the legislation dead on arrival in the House. And former President Trump urging on social media, make sure it doesn't get passed. Well, joining us now is Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen. Senator, it is good to see you. Thanks for being on. Thanks, Marco. Appreciate it. So let's talk about it. It is clear that we have an issue at the border, but what is it going to take for both sides to come to an agreement, to come up with a solution, especially if the bill is going to be dead on arrival uh, in the House? Well, keep in mind, there isn't any legislation that's required for President Biden to secure the border. There, there, it, it, you keep, it, keep this in mind, too. Uh, when Trump was in office, we had the lowest crossings and the, the lowest illegal crossings taking place his last few months he was in office because of the stuff that Joe Biden reversed day one he was in office. So there isn't any legislation that prevents the White House from securing the border. With that being said, there is some changes we need to make. Uh, we need to make some, some changes to the asylum process, which this bill does do. The, the drug cartels that are trafficking these individuals over at record numbers, they take advantage of the fact that they can simply say a few magic words and we automatically give them asylum in here. Then the pro process to which right now we're paroling 85 individuals, meaning the individuals that come over illegal, they claim asylum. We don't even check their story. We simply release them into the United States in the tune of 8.8 .8 million people since Joe Biden's been in office, which is double the size of the population of the state of Oklahoma. They automatically put them in place. So if we change the pro process, we change the asylum process, we know immediately the flow of illegals coming into to the United States would, would, would slow down. And that's what this legislation really addresses. It doesn't prevent him from doing anything he can't do right now. I have to ask you, because we keep hearing both Republicans and Democrats expressing concern about what's going on at the border. Is this just political posturing by both sides or are y'all really serious about getting something done? Even we're, we're very serious about doing it. The unfortunate part is we've been serious for months. James Langford has done everything he could to get this legislation put in place months ago. Uh, the White House really drug their feet. They didn't even engage really until December. Uh, the, uh, the leader's office, Chuck Schumer's office, uh, was very difficult for us to deal with. And the language keeps changing. We were ready to roll out uh, this, the bill uh, before we left for Christmas break. We were 100% ready when we came back from Christmas break. Unfortunately, they wanted to make additional changes to the text, and we're still there. Every day they can continue to make changes, and the more changes they make, unfortunately, the bill gets more partisan. And when that happens, we start losing Republicans. And, and, and so none of us have seen the bill yet. None of us have seen the complete text yet. So I'm 100% holding my powder dry, but the fact that they keep changing the process that we already had in place scares 11 daylights out of me because at some point we're going to lose everybody on the bill and we're not going to be able to either get text forward or we're going to have to walk away because it's got to be an effective bill. And what that means, we've got to stem the flow of illegal crossings. We've got to change the rules to asylum and we've got to change the parole process. Without those three pillars, this bill's dead on arrival. Well, Senator, former President Trump calls it a stupid bill. He even said on his social media platform, make sure it doesn't get done. It is an election year. How much influence does he still have on Washington? Well, President Trump is a dear friend of mine. We spoke about this yesterday by text. Um, we understood some of the tools that were put in place. Uh, his, his, his point is, is wh why are we even moving this if we know Joe Biden doesn't need it today? Because if, if he doesn't, if he's not using the tools that he currently has, what's a guarantee that he will use this to secure the border too? That's a 100% relevant question and it's true. So, uh, but at the same time, the text isn't out. So I would, I'd be I'd kind of cautious before I made a decision before I read a bill. And there's, unfortunately, there's some colleagues in the House that's already made a decision before they've even read it. I don't know how you can ever make a decision if you're gonna support something if you haven't read the bill yet. You mentioned that former President Trump is a dear friend of yours and you've been a supporter yes. of his. Would you vote for a border deal that he seems so staunchly against? Well, my, my wife is also my best friend of 26 years and there's a lot of things I do that she disagrees with me too. So at the end of the day, we all got to make our own decision.
All right, on a lighter note, you were inducted into the Oklahoma Wrestling Hall of Fame. We can tell by your statue yes. there that you were nothing to play with back in the day. You brought your expertise to Washington. Tell us about this workout group that you have. Yeah. You know, uh, way back in 2013 when I first got here, I was working out doing my thing, and it started with Kevin McCarthy, then Tulsi Gabbard joined me, then Joe Kennedy and Jason Smith and Aaron Shock, and there was a whole, uh, uh, Martha McSally, Kristen Cinema, all of us started working out, and it's just continued. And every year, uh, we have new people come and join us. Every Congress, we have new freshmen that join us. And it's really a time of bipartisanship. If you start talking politics in the workout, we literally start doing burpees. It is something that we are just <laughs> joining friends. And I'm serious about that. We Last week we did 100 burpees because people kept talking. And that's a lot. I was even sore after that. Uh, so, it, it, and we have breakfast once a month together. It's really a time that we, we break down the aisles of saying you're a Republican, you're a Democrat, you're an independent, and we just get to know each other's family as a person. And when you do that, it doesn't become as personal. It becomes, a, a, I don't have to take things personal because you disagree with me. I can, I can understand that you have a different point of view because you were raised different than me and you have different life experiences. And when we realize that there can be differences, then we can fi start finding common ground rather than just demonize us because you say no to my idea. I but love that. I would take it personal if I had to keep doing burpees because mm -hmm. someone wouldn't stop. <laughs> well, well, Eva's good at burpees. I'm not. She's really good with it. <laughs> Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for letting me go on your show. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.